family welcome back to my channel on my previous video we got through all my blue jeans and i'm so happy to say i kept kept five pairs i think and then i have a maybe pair emily's gonna count now to be sure the pile of giveaways are huge so like i'm really proud of myself but also to be fair none of them fit well a couple of them fit and i just didn't like them but in general we got through them enough so that my denim drawer is going to be so much more clear Oh, maybe more than I thought, like seven. Mm. Oh, guys, I thought I kept four and I only just counted nine, but it's eight, eight and, a and a maybe. Eight and a maybe. Eight and two maybes, actually. But listen, that was, I don't even want to know how many pairs that were. That has been like 40 pairs of jeans. I don't want to know, okay? It's fine. Honestly, with my job, I feel like jeans I'm gifted so often, like most of those were, and I know they're going to go to good homes. But yeah, I mean, it's a little jarring trying things on that don't fit you at all, like facing, uh, facing how your body has changed. And I'm sure any of you who have experienced similarly for any reason whatsoever can relate. And yeah, thanks in advance for the support for today, but just thanks for all your support along this journey. I think that it's really held me accountable and held me gently in this season of body change, life change, and yeah, just reflecting back to me. I feel like the love that I want all of you to have for yourselves, like you guys remind me of that right back. And I'm getting a little choked up thinking about it. So I'm really grateful for you all. Thank you. Um, and thanks for voting for the jeans and just telling me, get it over with, babe. And then some of you were also like, you don't have to do it at all. And I really appreciated that as well. And some of you were like, throw Emily under the bus, let her do it, Baja. Which I was kind of tempted to do, but we have like a lot different height. So like as much as we like wear similar clothing sizes a lot of the time, I gotta get five inches on the girl. Honestly, I literally do, huh? Yeah, five, five. Well, yes, I'm five ten, so we, I literally am. I'm a tower over her. So anyway, all that to say, if you missed our blue jean category, head on back. Um, we just did that one, and I know that a lot of you have been eager to continue the closet clean out. So let me know if you are in the jeans section. For me, it was just the most challenging section because I think like dresses and like stretchy stuff, it's like easier to kind of just be like, well, you know, but you're like, it's just, it's not as like visceral as like a hard non-stretchy jean that will not pull over your hips. So it's fine. Um, but today we're going to continue with jeans. Um, I don't think I'm as attached to any of the pairs that I will be trying on today. So hopefully it'll be a little easier on me emotionally. Um, but I'm doing a non blue jean. So I've got like black jeans, blue, like um, black jeans, tan, like brown jeans and white jeans and cream jeans and all that. And if we have time, depending, I might get into the jean shorts and just get those over with because I'm 99.99% sure I'm going to let go of all of those because I never really loved them in the first place. I had like one pair I liked when I was like, oh, definitely like a lower 14 that I liked and it was from Zara and I absolutely know those aren't going to fit anymore. I feel like those are the only pair that I ever actually really loved. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. If you are new here, we are doing a closet clean out. Grab something from your closet, whether it's your jeans, which we're doing today, like, or pants or whatever, or if you're starting fresh with us, feel free to start with your overflow pile or head back to my first video and follow along and catch up. We'd love to have you. And if you are committing today, comment below, say you're committing to the AMM Great Closet Cleanout. We would love, love, love to have you. It'd be so fun to do this together annually, but I'm hoping that it's not going to be as intense every time because I haven't done this for a few years. So um yeah but let's get into it first up i'm trying on a brown pair of jeans from abercrombie that have a little funny story to the butt they were sitting in my overflow pile for so long that they got a bleach stain on the butt from my window so that's what i get but i actually kind of think it works i think they're kind of like cool that way these are 33 the same size as all the other pairs i tried on the blue one and Surprise, they're so tight. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna mess with them. All right, these were actually very easy to put down once I laid down, so it's fine. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure, I think I need to look in the mirror. Like my little screen, I'm like using you guys as my mirror and the screen is like too tiny to be able to tell. I, I like the leg, like I like that they're wide. I'm just not sure. I have a tan pair too that I, I'm wondering if I might like better. What do you guys think? I just don't love them. And if we don't love them, they gotta go. I feel like they're okay, but like, I don't know. They just don't feel like super me. So I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna get. Okay, I love this color, this tan, but they are not gonna button. They absolutely are not. These are also, I think a 33. Yep. So these are the same size as some of the ones that I kept in the jeans video. And I feel like I could probably lay down to them, but it's like, these are like way smaller even. Sucks because the color is so cute. But yeah, they are the slim, the 90s straight. Oh, these are the curve love though. So the curve loves are supposedly a little bit wider in the hip and thigh. 
don't know. I don't understand why some of them fit great and some of them don't. So you know what? It's okay, but they don't fit. So I also, to be honest with you, I do love the color, but if I was gonna wear it, I, maybe I'm just more of a trousers girly, you know? Maybe I'm more of like a trousers and not a jeans girl. Maybe I'm just like learning about myself. All right, these are a frame and I think they have, I don't remember, but it was supposed to be the one that fits multiple sizes. These are so tiny, like they are like so small like smaller than my thigh for sure do i do this to myself do i not i don't i mean they're not gonna work and i'm not gonna like them let's just do it <laughs> as if oh my god no no got another pair of abercrombie 33s and this one will not even go over my chunk alas another no this is like not happening in a million years so this is great this is fun these are a madewell 33 so they're the same size as the abercrombie i actually think they fit really cute i love these little front pockets i love the like cream color i think they look cute on the butt so these are cute but like again i'll never understand the sizing it definitely like is like tighter in the little tummy area but like surprise i have a tummy these are very similar to the ones i just tried on with the little pockets in the front they're cute but i just feel like they feel like a little shorter like i feel like they're hitting a little high on the calf and i also think i like the ones with the pockets better and they're similar enough that i don't think i need to keep them both but they are cute tell me if you think i'm making a huge mistake but i'm keeping the other pair right because we don't need them both no these are 32 and they are not going over the hip i have another pair of madewell which honestly seems to be one of the resounding winners so far i was thinking about doing a video about my favorite curve plus tall denim um so if that would interest you guys i don't know everyone is necessarily curvy or tall but i could share like my favorite curve jeans and then throw in some that come in tall but I think these are 33 tall and like they're supposed to be cropped, I think, I don't know. But I do really love the way they fit. I think they look really good on and they are kind of similar, I know, to the other ones, but these are pure white and those are cream. So, well, they're not like pure, pure white, they're pretty white. So like compared to my t-shirt layer, like more, I'll show you the difference. Can you see that these are a lot more cream than these? I don't know, I kind of think these are cute. I do think these fit really cute. So I'm tempted to keep these because I like the way they fit. Go Madewell. I'm like fearful of picking up the Abercrombie ones now because they keep being so small and uncomfortable. But I have a pair of like flare. We'll just see. They are just intent on hurting my feelings today and it's fine. Not really. Like why? Like I don't even think these are a lay down number because it's like the thigh. The thigh is not having any. And these are curve love. I don't get it. The other ones fit so well. Why is this happening? Has anyone else noticed? that this brand or any brand that you love has like changed their like fit or their sizing. Like sometimes they change fit models, sometimes they stop fitting on curve models. Like they start stop fitting on fit curve models and just grade up. Like there's like once they get the formula, there's like a lot of different things it could be. Obviously we can also have changed our body shape and size, but when the other ones still fit, that's when I get confused. But yeah, these are just like way snug. What a bummer. Another one, but again, these are 14s and that was not my size anymore. Okay, these are super cute. They have this little like cut out here and they're high-waisted, but I feel like they're a little see-through because I'm obviously, oh, you've seen my underwear. Don't act like you haven't. Um, I'm wearing brown underwear, which I thought was kind of like nude, but it looks like you can like see, see how the fabric, like there's a spot where the pockets like don't touch that like I feel like you can see through. So I feel like I'd have to wear like true nude underwear with these, but... That being said, they're very cool. Like I really love that like feature of the cutout right there. Like I just think it looks cool. It's cute and I think that they look cute. So these are like way more creamy even than the other ones. What do we think? I think they're so cool. I think they really snatch in at the waist. They're fun, right? I think I'm gonna keep them. But I just have to wear like more nude underwear. It's a no. <laughs> like as if I needed another pair of feet more tan jeans. Can you tell like I get into a mode and I'm like, that's what I love. I just love wearing white and cream. Like, I don't really know what to say. These are frame and they make like really beautiful quality and expensive pieces. And so I think I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna love this fit, but like, absolutely not. And I think these are like, they're 34, which is like an 18 equivalent. So it's just wild how varied sizes are across the board. I tell you, don't worry about the labels. I don't worry about the labels, huh? Obviously the universe wanted us to end with a smile because I have these silly little smile flower jeans. I think I got sent these by Forever 21 and I never wore them. I don't know if they ever actually fit, but we'll try them on anyway. Oh, it wasn't sending a smile. It was just laughing at me. So that's fine. They actually make me happy. <laughs> 
They're actually really fun and cute. I was like making fun of them and I'm like, okay, they're actually super cute. Let's lay down and do them. Let's just do it. Of course I like fell in love with them after I was like dogging on them. They're so cute. They really are. They actually are just like fun, whimsical. I do like a whimsical moment. I really do. I feel like if these were one size bigger, I'd probably keep them, let's be honest. They just kind of make you smile when you look at them. And I do like the light blue. They're kind of cute. I hope these go to a good home. All right, we got through all of the jeans. A virtual high five, everybody. So now we're gonna move on to jean shorts. Jean shorts have always been a challenge for me. I've literally only had a couple pairs in my entire life that I've ever liked on me. So I'm not anticipating this to go well. And I don't think I have too much stake in the game. I think I'm like, whatever because I don't care that much. So let's just get through it. I think I have like 13 pairs. These are Abercrombie the dad jeans, the dad shorts. They're gonna be a lay down job, so BRB. Okay, I'm kind of shocked that I don't dislike these that much. Like they kind of look good. Thoughts? This is a Thayer 33, which is a 16 equivalent. Um, they have like a button, like a little side, side seam crotch moment. I need to go look at the mirror because I'm never sure until I look in the mirror. Honestly, they're pretty cute. That being said, I don't like love them. I just don't see myself wearing them anytime soon. Like I'm headed to Mexico this weekend with friends and I just don't see myself, like I wouldn't even pack them. Like I just, I don't really see myself as like a jean short girly. I don't know, I could do like a jean skirt. It's just, I don't know, it's just because I have such a big butt, I think. And it's just like never been my thing. But as far as jean shorts go, like these really aren't bad. Like I don't, foresee me wearing them anytime soon so it's probably just best to release them thoughts We've got another pair of depresso mesos i wore these on my sixth date with my man i love how i remember all the outfits i do i remember a lot of them probably not all of them but many but i loved these and i remember like we went to a little movie in the park and i remember i felt so cute in them and i was like because i like never really was into jean shorts and i found like this one pair with these because they are like they're kind of baggier around they were kind of baggier around the thigh and it was like so hard to find ones it felt like oh these are effortless well they aren't they're obviously not anymore but you know what they serve me well i'm gonna thank them and i'm just trusting and believing that if my body becomes the shape again i will magically from the universe call in another pair of shorts that i feel good in that i like but honestly, I am a little bummed. And if you're like a 14 and you have trouble finding shorts that you love, these might be on my posh. They just were so good. And the thing is like Zara doesn't carry the same styles year after year. So I just know I'm not going to run into these again. But I also just don't think I can hold on to something that doesn't fit me. Like I just think that is not a way of thinking that I like really want to want to take part in, you know? I don't know. It's tough. Have you guys ever experienced that? Where you're like, this is something that I just... What, probably won't come across again. This was like literally the favorite pair of shorts on me. I remember it so well. Anyway, thank you for your service. Thanks for making me feel so cute this summer. I fell in love with my forever person. Goodbye. Did these ever go over my hips? I'm shocked. I am shocked. Did they? I see a pattern emerging with these Zara ones. No. I do, do I have to even say anything? Another one. Absolutely not. They fit, but I don't even like them. And Louis was like, those are cute. I was like, I think they're dumb. Maybe I'm just pouting because I went through so many pairs that didn't fit. I don't know. They just don't make me feel cute. I'm just like, okay. You know, they're fine. But I don't feel cute in them. So I'm like, no. It's just a no. Oy. An absolute another no. Surprise, this one's the skirt. Woo! But it also doesn't fit. Which is also depressing because I very strongly remember when this was. I remember being like, oh, it's so big I can pull it off without unbuttoning it. I thought it was so cute. Ew. Come on, boots. Are you ready? Ooh. I'm Jessica Simpson. Remember? <laughs> no. These are like denim underwear. I couldn't even bear to wear one of those for this outro. That was, that was intense, everybody. Oh, I feel so good with the jeans done now. I'm strangely not like super emosh about none of the shorts fitting. I know my thighs save lives. I know they're big, okay? Like, I know my butt is gigantic. Like, I know that it doesn't fit, it's fine. Emily's <laughs> laughing. I know my It is, it's <laughs> fine. It's just like, I have, you know, I've grown as a person and I've grown as a body. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'm a denim shorts girly anyway. And I'm sure like if a season comes and I want them again, I'll find another pair. I am releasing 
that part of myself. I'm over it. Okay. I was never, I was like trying very hard to begin with. And I only found like a couple hairs that I actually even ever liked. And honestly, they were tight. And I usually had to lay down and put them on anyway. And I don't know if I want to constrict myself in that way anymore. And that's okay. I'd rather wear like a little dress or a little skirt or something. <sighs> anyway, that was like the hardest part. I think the pants are also going to be hard because they definitely have like a lot of other like little trousers and pants and stuff like that that I I'm sure don't fit anymore so we will all do that in a future video um but we got through the tough stuff thank you so much for being the moral support and encouraging me to keep showing up here even though it's imperfectly because that's actually the only way we ever can show up is imperfectly because we're human and we're never perfect so it's about, and it's also about the journey and not the destination. So progress over perfection. We can do hard things. I hope all of you are well and take good care of yourself. And if you are participating in this, remember to bring a friend in who's going to make you laugh. Remember to put a show on that makes you feel lighthearted or there's like a lot of things you can do, but try to approach it with a sense of levity and humor. I know it can be really hard to accept changes in our bodies, changes in our lives, face the past versions of us that wore these things. Like there's a lot of layers emotionally, I feel like to this stuff. So I've been gentle with myself, obviously I've been taking it slow and when I need to rest or when I'm not feeling well or when I'm busy, like I'm not pushing myself. So I personally think this is the way to do it. If you don't have as much, obviously maybe you can get through it a day, but I can't emotionally and I can't physically. So I'm good with it. I think I'm taking it at my own pace. And I think that that's all I would ask any of us to do. So thanks for hanging out. If you are, oh, I need some water. Please hold. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video, I would love to have you join us on the closet clean out. It's never too late to join. If you're a BFF who's been watching, but you finally feel called to do it, comment below and say you're starting the clean out so we can all just know that we're in it together. And if you are new and you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that little bell and subscribe so you can be a part of our community. And if you are a returning BFF, oh, thanks for being in this journey with me. It is intense, um, but it's fun and it's way fun doing it together. So grateful for you guys. I know you all have very busy lives. So the fact that you're choosing to spend some of your time with me means so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. And in the meantime, if you want to hang out, I'm over on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, Alex Michael May. And hopefully I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Bye.